In addition to um, what we know about treatment-free remission with amantinib and nilotinib, which led to last December the label for nilotinib, including treatment-free remission guidelines, we haven't seen as much information regarding desantinib or really the breadth of TKIs. And I think some people are wondering how to consider treatment-free remission or TFR relative to the treatments people are on. So the DAS-free trial is the biggest trial to date looking at desantinib in chronic based CML, either in the frontline or second line setting for patients with resistance or intolerance to previous treatment, generally amantinib, and showing what TFR looks like with desantinib. So um, in roughly 80 patients or so, about a half and half split between patients primarily on desantinib or secondarily on desantinib, and amongst those secondarily on desantinib, about half of those were resistant. I think we see um, pretty encouraging data. We see consistent ability to maintain major molecular response, which is the definition of successful TFR, uh, roughly 50%, slightly lower. Um, we see not a lot of difference between patients with primary or secondary desantinib, not a significant difference between patients switched to desantinib for intolerance and resistance. Some would be surprised by that. I think that's a, that's a blurry line, resistance and intolerance. Sometimes it comes together. Um, Similarly to other TFR experiences, we know there is some withdrawal syndrome. It's not maybe as frequent with desantinib, but it's there. And we do see different adverse events that come as patients move off and on or back on to certain TKIs, but nothing of concern. I think what was very nice and important to see in the DAS-free study was the ability to recover major molecular response and deeper molecular response. I think we need longer follow-up, but I think at the at the current report, we have all patients gaining MMR and nearly all patients gaining deep molecular remission, MR 4.5. So if we misfire on TFR and patients need to resume therapy, it seems safe. So now we have, I think, a pretty convincing experience with desantinib, which will give us a little bit more information about how to handle this question of treatment for remission no matter what TKI someone's on.